Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for COnO3 3 plus KOH. This is cobalt 3 nitrate and we have potassium hydroxide. With net ionic equations, the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see right away that I have this nitrate here. I have three of them and only one here. So I'm going to put a three in front of the potassium nitrate. That balances the nitrates, three potassiums. Let's put a three here. The potassiums are balanced, three hydroxides. Three hydroxides here, cobalt and cobalt. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Compounds with the nitrate ion are very soluble, so they're going to be aqueous, split apart into their ions. Potassium hydroxide. Hydroxides in general are insoluble. Potassium hydroxide, though, that's a strong base, so we consider this soluble here. So we have aqueous for that, but the cobalt-3 hydroxide, this is insoluble. That means it's going to be a solid, and when these two substances react, it'll form a precipitate, fall to the bottom of the test tube. Those are the states. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation, and we're not going to split solids apart in our net ionic equation. That's going to look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation for cobalt-3 nitrate and potassium hydroxide. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of this complete ionic equation. I can see in the reactants here, I have these three nitrate ions. And the products, I also have three nitrate ions. So I can cross those out. Those are spectator ions. I also have three potassium ions in the reactants and the products. Cross them out, spectator ions. So this is the net ionic equation for our COnO3,3 plus KOH. I'll clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our net ionic equation, and you'll note that charge is balanced. We have a 3 plus here, 3 times 1 minus, that's 3 minus. So that all adds up to 0, net charge of 0. Over here, the cobalt-3 hydroxide, that's neutral, net charge of 0. Charge is conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for cobalt-3 nitrate plus potassium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.